Let's take a look at another example of group by with aggregate functions. So in this example, we're gonna to try to find the number of comments for each individual photo. And before we even worry about group by or anything like that, we really need to consider our data source. What tables do we have to try to access here in this case? Well, in this case, all the information we need is on the comments table alone. We don't need to do any joins or anything like that. The reason that all the relevant information is on comments is because comments has the photo ID column inside of it. So here's what I think we could probably do. Here's our comments table on the left-hand side. We probably want to group by photo ID. That's gonna group all of our photos together into individual little buckets. We can then run some kind of aggregate function on each individual bucket to count up the number of photos. So I'm gonna do a group by, we'll say grouped with photo ID. Those are our buckets. And very much like user ID, it looks like the photo IDs in this case span from one through five. So I could imagine that the unique values here that we're gonna group by are one, two, three, four, and five. So it then goes through and assign each of my different rows to one of these different buckets. We've got five, one, four, a two, another four, a three, and a one. So now for each of these individual buckets, we would want to do a count star. And that will tell us the number of rows we have in this particular bucket. So in this case, we'd get two, and then we'd have a one, another one, a one down here, oh, and a two right there. So for this diagram at least, this is what I would expect to see. I would expect to see each of the photo IDs with a two, one, one, two, one. Of course, our actual database has some different information inside of it, but that's kind of the structure of data I would expect. So let's now go write out a query that's going to implement this entire process. Okay, so back over here, we will do a select photo ID and a count star from comments. We'll then group by the photo ID. And that's it. So build up all those different buckets, print out the bucket label, and then count up the number of rows in each bucket. So let's go ahead and run this, and there we go. So you'll notice that only our first five photos have comments attached to them. All the other comments inside of our, com or me, all the other photos inside of our photos table don't have any comments assigned whatsoever. There are 20 photos overall, only five of them actually have comments. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So we've now seen one or two simple examples of aggregate functions and grouping. Let's go through another exercise in the next video.